We're here today on farm and as one season of nitrogen management comes to an end then it gives us the opportunity to reflect on some of the key decisions that we need to consider as we move in to, to purchasing new season nitrogen. So when it comes to nitrogen management there are two real components that we need to focus in on and that's firstly nitrogen use efficiency and how we might maximise that but secondly, and new perhaps for many now, is management of ammonia emissions. Now nitrogen use efficiency is a, a very complex calculation. What we're here today focusing more on is the nitrogen fertiliser use efficiency aspect of it. When it comes to nitrogen fertiliser use efficiency, then the first and probably most important element is choosing a nitrogen that's in the available form so the crop can take it up very very quickly and soon after its application. Now when it comes to comparing the forms then you've obviously got choices around ammonium nitrate, uh, urea, urea ammonium nitrate and now um, urea with inhibitors so there's a number of uh, choices to be made but we know and the science tells us that ammonium nitrate is the most available form of nitrogen that you can apply so very quickly and, and soon after application then that will be getting into the crop. So following the uptake of that nitrogen by the plant it's about then maximising the utilisation of the nitrogen within the plant. Now we know that that utilisation is affected by a number of key nutrients but one of the most important is the sulphur. Now we also know that um, from the, the data that, that the labs produce that over 90% of soils are deficient in sulphur. So it's a really important consideration when it comes to maximising nitrogen use efficiency. With this close relationship that we have between nitrogen and sulphur, then the natural recommendation and what we would urge is that the, both those nutrients are applied together um, at each timing when it comes to nitrogen fertiliser applications. So if we accept that nitrogen and sulphur both need to be applied together at each application then we need to go on to consider what other um, elements of a product need to be right for us to achieve the best application we can. So one of the key considerations there is the strength of the product that we're going to apply. Now it needs to be nice and strong so that it can withstand the forces um, during that application process by the spreader itself. Now products can be tested for their strength and we can score them usually on a scale of um, naught running through to nine where nine is the strongest value we can get. If they're down at uh, two and three and four then they really do um, represent quite a weak granule which is likely to shatter um, on impact as it's being spread giving unevenness to the application. The final element to maximising nitrogen use efficiency is the use of best available technology during the growing season. Yara have a range of tools and services from crop analysis in the laboratory through to remote sensing. All of these help to make sure that you get the most out of every kilogram of nitrogen you apply. As Mark alluded to earlier, uh, emissions is high on the priority list now for the government as it become quite a hot topic with agriculture being one of the main focuses. At Yara we're very aware of these issues and we know that it needs to be part of future nitrogen management decisions. Government research has consistently shown that ammonium nitrate based products have the lowest ammonia emissions out of all the nitrogen products. So having considered the elements of nitrogen use efficiency and how sulphur can help improve that, as well as the spreadability of products and then this growing issue of ammonia emissions. A product that really does meet all of the requirements and represents a simple solution to these challenges is Yarabella Axan. So look out for the current offers available by being a member of the Yara Reward Scheme, which is currently three tissue tests for every full load of Axan purchased. And finally, for more detail on the product, then do visit the website.